What's up, y'all? Good morning. It's another day. We are uh, up and getting ready to go. I thought I was going to come in here and wake up the girls, but uh, they are already up. Kira has the eyesight of, I don't know, she has an amazing eyesight. And she was just calling out a teeny tiny little spider over Kaylin's bed. Actually, Kaylin spotted it out because she actually ate more toast before me. Oh, Kaylin spotted it first. Okay. But, uh, she's like, I thought that was a stink bug, but it's too snuck, but it's too tiny to be a stink bug. So it's a spider. All right, let's get up and get ready so we can get going because we're gonna go watch the spider. new Ant Man movie today with our friends. Hi, we're gonna watch Spider Man today. <laughs> Spider Man today, it's uh, a little joke there. Spider Man, <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get going so we can get over there and watch that movie on time. I don't like to miss the trailers. So, last night was pretty rough because we went to see family yesterday. We got back pretty late and then we've been dealing with a uh, clogged drain in our shower. And that has been frustrating. Uh, you don't want to use things like look at plumber and Drano on your shower. So, I went and got one of those things with teeth you shove down there and pull stuff out. and. I got some stuff out, but it still, it was clogged. So I, I'm going to show you the shower, but I want to just preempt this first. For one, apparently it went down overnight. So what we did worked, but two, I haven't cleaned it yet. So it's still a little bit messy. And I think a part of our problem is that we have cat litter in the bathroom. So we wind up picking fragments of cat litter up on our feet and take them into the shower. I'm willing to bet mixing that cat litter with the hair is making its way down the drain and making the clog a little worse. Now granted, we have lived in the RV for, I think we've lived in this RV for over 400 days now. This is the second time I've had to deal with a clog, but this has been the worst one. So overall things are not terrible. It could have been a lot worse, I think, but what I wound up doing, a lot of people online said, use baking soda and vinegar. I didn't have any white vinegar, I had apple cider vinegar. So I was thinking this morning as I was in bed and what I was gonna say to you was to look out for the color as I show you this because the apple cider vinegar has a brown color and your first thought might be something far worse. But uh, you can see a lot of that is cat litter fragments that actually bubbled back out with the baking soda and the vinegar you can still see some of my buildup of baking soda around the edges there there's the plastic thing with teeth it helps some but not as well as i would have liked to in this case i was mentally preparing myself this morning for going down to see what kind of a trap we have and an rv can have several different types of traps I think a P trap is what a lot of people are used to. A lot of people tend to wind up having to clear those out on their bathroom sink. That's the one where, it, I don't know why they call it a P. It's like the letter U and you have to take it apart at two points, you pull it out and usually, well, that's where a lot of people wind up, kids drop little things. I have pulled out little toy mermaids out of the uh, trap from the bathroom sink. Uh, so that is possible. We have the space for a trap like that under the shower. I'm familiar with that space. It's right behind the wet bay. Excuse me. Early mornings. Always oh, got tears. There is another kind of trap I'm not familiar with, but I was reading about yesterday that is used sometimes in RVs that have tighter spaces. And because of those, you would not want to use like a plumber snake because you could potentially damage it. My morning once again has changed, just like yesterday, something happened. So after I put the camera down, I am going to fill this back up with water and see if it goes down freely this time. So we'll find out. But I'm gonna set y'all down for a little bit while I work on that and as well as get ready because we have a 12 o'clock showing for the uh, Ant-Man, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. We're gonna go see that with some friends. We've got two sets of friends to hang out with today. We also have friends from our old neighborhood that are coming over to the RV this evening. A lot of this wrapping up time with friends is happening right now. And 
This is one of those things that's very interesting about when you go from your normal life of living in a house to living in an RV. When you come back into the area where all your friends and family are, you become very intentional about spending time with your friends. Where it seems like we're really busy right now, it's all a part of the plan. <laughs> because we want to see these people before we depart and go 500, 1,000 miles away. It's like it's building our friendships stronger because before we're just like, oh yeah, I've got that friend. I'll hang out with them sometime when you're living in a house and you're close by. Now when you have limited amount of time to spend time with these friends or family, you're being more intentional. You're like, I have to spend time with you because I'm about to leave. And it really does. It, I feel like we have multiple friendships that have become much stronger because of this. So I'm gonna go put you down for now. I'll let you you let uh, rest, relax, enjoy your covers on this cold morning if it's cold for you there. And uh, I'm gonna go do some work. I added water and it stopped. It was fizzing and bubbling a little bit. And then I added more baking soda and apple cider vinegar. It's still occasionally bubbling. So I am gonna go I'm gonna go outside to the pass-through storage and I am going to take off the panel right next to the wet bay and take a look to see what kind of a trap I have. Because off the top of my head, I don't remember. So let's go take a look. So nice to have a furnace again. It's literally in the 30s right now. It might be in the 40s. It's getting close to 11. But there's a breeze. It is cold. And that furnace is loud. Thankfully, the pass-through storage is uh, warmed up. All right, so this is the panel next to my wet bay. This panel was actually off most of the winter because the furnace was out. I had a space heater sitting right in here just so I could keep all the pipes and everything nice and warm. Sorry if it's extra noisy. You hear that furnace blasting. Oh, this is kind of a pain. Let's see. Oh, there we go. That blue cable actually helps. So the blue cable is for my Ethernet for the Starlink. It kind of adds a little extra frustration now, though. Since I ran the blue cord through the panel. All right. Well, I don't know if you'll be able to see that without me getting some extra light. Let me go get some more light. So this is the mangled mess of behind the wet bay. You see the water heater over there in styrofoam. The furnace has all the uh, silver hoses coming off of it. And if you look right above it, this black pipe is coming out of the shower. And that is the special kind of trap. I believe it's called HEPVO, H-E-P-V-O, or H-E-P-V-0, I'm not sure. It's typically used in a space that doesn't have enough room. Why they insisted on it here, I don't know. But if you've got a trap like that, you don't wanna use a plumber snake to force through there to clean out the drain because it'll ruin that trap. If you break that trap, you're gonna start getting sewer gas smells in your shower, and you will not appreciate that. If I can't get the drain to clean out, I'm going to have to come down here in, a, in all of this mess and remove that trap to clean it out. How exciting, but it's not gonna happen right now because we're leaving in like three minutes to go watch Ant-Man. I really love this little Magnetic shop light. These things are great. USB rechargeable. Get them at Walmart. We got three of them. Bought one. Loved it so much. Bought two more. Oh, and I used to have a massive collection of Nerf guns. This right here is pretty much my favorites. They were at the storage unit. But as we keep encountering kids everywhere, I'm like, you know what? I need to bring Nerf guns with me. On the Nerf gun note, cool fact about this park. Supposedly the maintenance guys carry Nerf guns with them 
And if the kids ask them, hey, do you have a Nerf gun? They'll pull it out and shoot the kid. Just a fun little fact. There, this, this park is awesome. So we just watched Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania at the Evo Theater. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was a cool experience. Mm -hmm. Our last time being there wasn't all that great because they were short on staff. And we loved to eat their food there. So this time we stopped at Burger King on the way so we wouldn't have to rely on their food. They still took forever though to get me one bottle of water. Yeah, they were pretty quick on Kira's slushy though. Yeah, but I was like, parched. Even poor <laughs> Gabby had been eating a bunch of popcorn and she's like, Dad, I have water. Dad, I have water. Uh, yeah. It's like, why does it take so long? But we like Evo the company and they're planning for the future. They didn't have a concession stand here before because they relied 100% on waiters and waitresses mm -hmm. bringing your food to you and your drinks. Mm -hmm. So what, to plan for that in the future, they're adding a concession stand that can handle just the basic stuff. So that way the people that are bringing the good restaurant quality food out, uh, they will be uh, alleviated. They won't have as much work to do. They won't have to deal with the basic water bottles. I could just stop at the concession stand and get a water bottle on my way in. But the, I think one of the coolest things of all was the robots. Oh yeah, that was awesome. They have a bunch of these robots roving up and down the hallways that look like kitty cats. They have little pointy ears that light up. They, their screens can all of a sudden look like a cat. Mm -hmm. And one of the staff told us to go scratch its ears. Mm -hmm. And that was adorable. Yes. Oh yeah, no, you're good. I just saw So our friends, Max, he was going up and scratching the ear. She's like, the, the robot's like, oh, that's itchy. Mm -hmm. Okay, stop touching my ear, right? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> and her little facial expressions. Yeah. That was really cool. Mm -hmm. So, nice. Okay, try again. Tommy, you see that? It feels itchy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Stop touching my ears, meow. Tap me on the head. Tap me on the head. Tap. Tap. Like tap it. Huh. Alright y'all, that's going to do it for today. We just wrapped up time with our friends, came out here. These were friends that were neighbors of ours when we had our house in Seguin, Texas. They came by to hang out basically one last time. We got to hang out a few times. So that was really nice. The whole family came out. We got some pizza. Just enjoyed some fellowship together, watched a couple funny things on YouTube, and uh, and said goodbye and called it a night. And now I'm going to call it a night with y'all. It's been a, a busy day, a crazy day. There's been a lot more going on than I've even revealed to you. Uh, and then tomorrow we've got another fun event with friends. Tomorrow we're going to go to the Austin RV Expo, check out some more RVs, probably do some RV tours for y'all. You may be thinking, why do you guys keep doing RV tours? The honest truth is, we like it. We are happy with our open range, but it's just fun to go check out these other RVs and just imagine what it would be like if this was ours. And then we like to share that with y'all. So uh, we're gonna go do that. We're our friends that are going, they want to do this RV life full time as well. So we're just gonna kind of look at RVs with them and it'll be kind of cool for our kids to share what they've been through with their friends in helping them kind of pick out which RV they would choose for full-time RV life. Now granted, thinking in the daily scheme of these vlogs that are coming out, you're seeing this on Saturday. So tomorrow you won't see the RV Expo. You will see our journey from last summer when we were in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. What this channel has been, for the most part, has been a weekly episode of our adventures and I am behind on editing 
for our episodes on Sunday nights, I like to do a little bit more editing, add a little bit more music, have a little more fun with it. I'm still that far behind. It's from last July is when the footage is from. So you'll see that if you tune back in tomorrow on Sunday. I usually release them about 5.30 p.m. Central Time. And then on Monday morning, I'll share with you our time at the Austin RV Expo. I hope y'all are liking this daily vlog thing. If not, I just want to tell all of y'all, we enjoy, enjoy, is that the right thing? We appreciate, we appreciate y'all stopping by to watch our videos. By no means do we expect you to come back and watch every video, but we sure would love it if you did. We hope to see you back here. Yeah, yeah, I think, what is it? You subscribe and hit the bell, it'll be notified. But I could imagine that could be a little annoying. Maybe don't hit the bell. It's up to you. You choose. You decide. If you want to be notified every time I make a video, ring the bell. If you don't want to be notified, just don't ring the bell. Just give a thumbs up. Whatever. You hit the thumbs down twice. Whatever works for you. Just remember, life happens. Don't let it stop you. Stay fresh, cheese bags.